Hey guys, Marsling and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are taking Global's best Dokkan Fest LR into Super Battle Road on the Hybrid Saiyan stage. So this new LR, uh, despite not technically having a Hybrid Saiyan's leader skill, can be used very effectively on this uh, stage since you know the category contains all the adult Gotenks's, uh, sorry adult Gohans of various varieties and of course the various Gotens so it's very easy to make a team that is compatible for the hybrid Saiyan stage just using these guys leader skill which obviously gives a much bigger boost to attack as well as some extra key than using the Ultimate Gohan. So, plus it also allows us to use units like the Int Ultimate Gohan, who we haven't really been able to use on this team due to the leader being the STR. Um, let's give you, I guess we're already attacking you, so let's go for that. So hopefully our main goal, obviously aside from beating the uh, event without using too many items is to try and get the active skill off so in my various playtesting uh, with this unit throughout yesterday and today uh, super battle road seems to be the only place that i've consistently been able to get the active skill because obviously most dokon events are just over before you can get to that restriction because the three turns obviously not so bad but getting to 59 percent or less hp on a team that is incredibly strong is not very easy so on a mode like this where we can randomly get hit for almost 200,000 with a super attack depending on who's taking it it seems like probably the best place uh, to actually be able to see the active skill so especially because we got say man he's just a support unit so he took some pretty solid damage there um, let's do this so even with the type disadvantage here, the Goten is a very solid defensive unit, so we should be perfectly fine. And um, we'll target Lord Shugesh, and then we'll get the LR friend over here to finish off Bardock. Um, so that's the one thing I did say this in my showcase yesterday for the LR. Uh, the first turn is usually the only time you'll struggle to get their 18 key super. Um, depending on how you've built the team, obviously. Because um, once they've attacked, they should hopefully, more often than not, get the additional built in from their passive, even if it is only a normal attack, like now. But that means now, straight away after their turn on this rotation, that unit now has an extra 2 key, as well as an extra 20% attack. Um, and as you can see, I think we were, what, 1 key short from the 18 key super with them? So, meaning if we're in that same predicament next turn, we'll be perfectly fine. So, now what I want to try and do, let's use a Whis. I don't want to heal, because I really want to get this active skill. But then at the same time we've got to be careful, because we, we need to get down to only having one opponent left. So, let's get rid of... In fact, let's get rid of the Farsha. kind of messed up my orbs a little bit. I should have tried to work that more for the LR, but there you go. Um, in fact, yeah, let's just attack her with everyone, because any attacks will spill over to Tora. I don't want Tora to be the last opponent left if we do get the active skill, because then obviously, due to type disadvantage, if we don't get a crit, we won't do an impressive amount of damage. And if we're uh, actually going to get to see the active skill, we, we want it to be a good showing. So... But, I mean, that's Farsha taken care of fairly easily. Yeah, we should easily be able to get rid of Tora next turn. While our Whis is still active, which is good. Although, I don't know if we're going to be... We won't be on low enough health, will we? That's the only problem. Um... Yeah, because Goten's going to take like no damage unless we get super attacked. Um, the Saiyan Man would probably take a lot of damage if we did this, I guess. But... I 
Although I guess not from not from Shugesh, but Ah oh, well let's find out. Let's grab these and uh, see what happens. Three million attack stat on the uh, my copy of the LR who has no dupes. Oh no, that is the friend. Okay. I thought I thought that was mine. Yeah. I think the friend might have two dupes? I'm not sure. Uh, 19. Actually, yeah, this will put us under. Come on. Of course, we have to actually take out Tora, which we didn't! Okay, awesome. Uh, so, I guess we do this. I'm sure Tora won't deal that much damage to us. He'll get a he'll get a super attack anyway because of his passive. So let's try this. Oh, apparently I'm attacking Shugesh, which is not what I had planned. So, well, I guess that was going to happen either way. <laughs> uh, so even in this mode. This mode of all modes, where we're trying to force the uh, the active skill restriction, and we're still not <laughs> doing the best job. So maybe it'll be easier to balance out this time around because there's only three opponents. So I guess we'll start off using one of these because we're probably going to take a fair bit of damage this turn, I would imagine. So. We'll do this just for the sake of dodging the type disadvantage down there. Um, and let's focus on getting rid of Raditz first of all, I guess. So the Android 8 will help us out against normal attacks, but it doesn't do much for supers. But 110, okay, straight off the bat. That's how it's going to be. I mean, we take, took off like, oh well, okay, so we're going to get the additional super thanks to the uh, friend's extra dupes. So we take out Raditz in one rotation. Um, well, maybe this might go a little easier even than I expected. So We still have the Android 8 active for the whole of the next turn as well, so I guess we won't need to use another item. Because I don't think, unless they both super attack like the wrong person, we should be, we shouldn't be dying. So, let's put you at the front. Let loose on Nappa over here. I'm gonna try and be careful not to get a Doke on attack just yet. Okay, we kinda, we kinda want that. Uh, we just really don't want Vegeta to super attack us now. Because uh, as good as the LRs can be at tanking, taking a super attack with type disadvantage on Super Battle Road is definitely not a uh, thing we want to see happen. Yeah, 25. Okay, good. So, well, actually, to be fair, anyone from this point, if we get super attack, that's it. So, hopefully, we'll be all good over here. Yep, good. No super. I think even if Nappa was to super, oh no, Nappa super already. I think because I think even if he'd supered Gohan, we'd be fine because of the type advantage. And yes, the additional super comes in to take out Nappa. So here we go, boys. We should be ready and set to go. Yes, there we go. So obviously Vegeta does have full health, so. We're probably not going to take him out here. But, hey, we get to see the active skill, and that's the important thing. So, here we go. <laughs> Absolutely love that. <laughs> I'm so glad that we have this unit. Oh, and we get a crit, so no worries about the type disadvantage. 2.5 mil. Jeez. Um, 
Well, I guess we'll use this item simply because it's one of the few that we've got can heal us up. And then we will grab these. Nice 18 key super and then get all of these. So yeah, GG, Vegeta. Uh, I guess the LR might not take them out if they don't crit, but 3.9 on the attack stat. Then we get the additional super, which in itself is 3.3. Jeez. 59 damage in response. Damn. Oh, well, there you go. AGL Gohan not quite finishing him off, so uh, coming back in for the additional with a crit. The funny thing about using him and the Goten on the team is uh, we're seeing multiple family Kamehamehas, which, you know, I'm not opposed to. I think that's one of the reasons why I was so hyped for this unit, because obviously the family Kamehameha moment is definitely one of the hypest moments from the movies. Like, people everywhere will recognise it. So cool, but... Ooh. See, look, there we see Goten coming in clutch. That was a physical orb. That is now a rainbow orb, which means we are now able to get the 18 key super on the first turn with the LR. So that is fantastic. In fact, we're going to get a Dokon attack like very soon. If, that, if, if those AGL orbs weren't all there and we could actually pick up the STR one, we probably would get the Dokon attack now. Um, in fact, let's grab those purples because then that leaves all of the blues free for somebody else. And I didn't use an item, which I meant to, but I guess we'll be fine because Goten will now just tank everything from these guys, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's see how quickly we can uh, get rid of Paragus over here. Must be crit, but yeah, this, we're not going to take any damage from them. Super attack? What's this going to do? 67. Okay, I mean, that's not bad damage. But all of these <laughs> double-digit attacks, that's what we like to see. Now, the Saiyan Man, not going to tank as well. So that's... Uh... Yeah, that's not too bad. Um... Okay, so I guess for the sake of this fight, we are going to have to get rid of the... Uh... We're going to have to get rid of the Int Gohan from the rotation just because he's going to take a lot of damage. I think even a normal attack from Broly, he's probably going to take a pretty solid amount of damage this turn, even with the Princess Snake active. But of course, saying that, we have the Dokon attack, so it's very possible that uh, this could be the final turn because... Let's see just how much damage we can do. Of course, the biggest problem is, for me, always doing the Dokon modes on the emulator. So, let's see if I can actually hit some of these. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, if it's a fast one, it's pretty much doomed to be a fail right from the start. So, F's in the comments for the uh, failure of mouse abilities. But even so, Dokon attack... We should do a pretty solid amount of damage. I'm not too fussed, I guess, about not getting a crazy powerful Dokon attack to end the event early. Because it would be nice if we could get the active skill again. But I guess we'll have to see. We should take out Paragus here. Yeah, no problemo. So now we just want to take a little bit of damage on our Gohans. Now he hasn't supered this turn. If he supers the in Orma Gohan, even with the Princess Snake active, we're going to take a lot of damage. But he did not, so... And then, of course, yeah, the Dokon mode heals us up, so... I guess we'll have to put these guys in the first slot, because all the attacks are there. Now, obviously, on an, any normal day of the week, if we were trying to just complete this stage, um, and we'd not done it before, we would uh, absolutely not put the LR in the first slot because Goten would tank all of this stuff nice and easily. But we want to lose a bunch of health, so... 3.1? And yeah, we took a huge amount of damage from that super attack. So next turn, we should have the uh, Dokon mode, uh, the Dokon mode, the active skill, ready to go. Wow, yeah, after raising our defense a little bit more, we're now taking double digits from Broly with neutral typing. Crazy. 
So we're getting him to just under half health. Uh, yeah, just under half here. So let's see what we can do with this active skill. We've got a support unit on the rotation. So this is going to be very good. And let's do it. So clean. I never get tired of seeing that. <laughs> it's hard enough to get it, so I never get tired of seeing it. <laughs> right, so we'll give you that full 24 key super. And then I mean we know for a fact that if we get if we don't kill him and we get supered. We've already seen that we'll die. So I guess we might as well use this because, you know, after coming this far and actually getting the active skill twice, <laughs> we don't want to die at the last second. But 4 million attack stat. Oh, wow. 2.4 crit. But that was, still wasn't quite enough. But then the additional comes through with a crit and we take him out. So... There you go, that is the Hybrid Saiyan stage of Super Battle Road defeated with the new LR Gohan and Goten using the Siblings Bond version of a Hybrid Saiyans team. Um, like I said, I've been arguing this all day, like today on Twitter and on various groups on Facebook. LR Gohan and Goten are, in my opinion, superior to the LR Fusions. And if you would like to respectfully disagree, then leave your comments down below. But like I say, do be respectful to each other, even if we do disagree. It's always interesting to debate about these units, but, you know, keep it cool. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The links are in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.